Okay, thank you. And our second question over there. Um, Professor Dawkins, may I draw you a little bit on your book, The God Delusion, which in many ways underpins <laughs> the discussion that you've been having this morning. Now, in the preface to the paperback edition of that book, you acknowledge that there are what you call sophisticated theologians like Bonhoeffer and Tillich. And you say, you're going to leave them aside. You're not going to tackle their arguments. You're going to focus on the Jerry Falwells, the Tom Robertsons, the Ayatollah Khomeini's, and the Bin Ladens instead. And you proceed to do what I think is a very witty and often splendid and important insight in demolishing these cultic aspects of religion. Though, of course, you have predicated it by setting aside the sophisticated side. But can I put a personal point to you? That it seems to me that you then go on and create a kind of cult out of atheism itself. And your own website, richarddawkins.net, with its merchandising section in particular demonstrates this, where you've got the entire iconography of atheism on sale, including a choice of T-shirts and even two different <laughs> Richard Dawkins can car I, bumper stickers. Can I draw what you to a close? That? That's it. Richard, you started yes. a cult. Um, well... <laughs> Okay. Um, first, I, I, I hasten to say that the, that the merchandising is, is, is all in, in aid of, of the foundation. None of it goes to me. I mean, I, I, I need to, to, say, to say that. Um, the point about Tillich and Bonhoeffer and, uh, and um, attacking the easy targets like Jerry Falwell, I wish that all religious people were like Tillich and Bonhoeffer. I wouldn't have bothered to write the book if they were. Um, but unfortunately, the huge majority of religious people in the world, not just Christians, but Muslims and, and, and others as well, wouldn't have the faintest clue what Tillich and Bonhoeffer are talking about. What they like is the Bible or the Koran, whatever it is. They take it literally, um, and it's no good saying, oh, that's not my kind of Christianity. Well, fine, it's not your kind of Christianity, but I didn't write the book for you. I wrote the book for the vast majority of religious people who naively believe in the Bible or the Quran or, or whatever it is. Now, I would genuinely like to have, probably not now, but there won't be time, but to have a conversation with uh, somebody who, is, who follows Tillich and Bonhoeffer to hear what they really, really do think. I would be interested in that, in that argument. I've never actually heard a sophisticated theologian say anything that I regarded as worth discussing, to be quite honest, but I, I'm re always ready to be disabused of that Meanwhile, my hands are full dealing with the Jerry Falwells of this world, who are hugely influential, hugely rich, and who have vast followings in the United States and elsewhere.